Behold, I do a new thing. Amen? I do a new thing. What is this new thing he wants to do in your life? Did you take some time to pray yesterday? If you did not, this is an opportunity for you. Sit down, pray, and ask your father, Daddy, what new things do you want to do? How do you want to go about them? Where is my participation? How do you want me to participate with you in these new things? Amen? That's what we said yesterday, and we are making sure that you sat down and you did the prayer. You asked him, what did he say? It's very good to document. I'm telling you, one of the best things you can do in your Christian walk is to document. And if you're looking for a title for, for that book, just write there, God Speaks Indeed, right? Just get a book, go to Walmart, go to wherever you can where books are sold in your area. Get a really big book. What would that big book tell daddy? It would tell daddy that you're really expecting to hear from him. Especially those that say, oh, God does not speak to me. Listen, go to the store, get a huge book and get a pen. Actually get different colors of paint. The one that he told you that you didn't believe is going to come to pass, even though you know he, the one that said it, write it in red. The one that you believe he's, he said it and you know, and your faith level is like, yes, he's going to do this, no doubt. Put it in blue. The one you're thinking and like, ah, well, oh, the man prophesied over me. I'm not sure. Put it in yellow. Now I'm just giving those random colors. You can use anything. I'm saying differentiate what he's saying. And when you write down what he has told you, pray it back to him. And when he answers you, come back right there and write the date of the answer. Amen. Always document. That's what we're saying. No matter how you want to do it. Listen, what I gave you was a sample. But you go back to him and say, how do you want me to document? You see the book of Chronicles it is, is a, it's a record of the things that happened to the kings or to everyone that is in that book. What about you doing a chronicle of your work with God? I think it's a great thing to do because then those days when the enemy comes to you and say, hey, your God is dead. You don't have a God. You even think there's a God. You think God is alive. You can go back to your, your God speak in the book or the my chronicles with God, my walk with God and just open it and say, devil. Here, do you remember when he said this? That's why it's also good when he answered those prayers to go back and write them. Now I know this is going to take a lot of effort. Okay, we're in a digital age, no problem. Open a file on your phone, go to your voice recording, record the things he just told you. And the day he answered, you say, on this and this day, God said this. And this and this day, he just answered that prayer. Document the way it will be easy and quick for you, right? I am a vocal person, so I do a lot of recordings and do a lot of talking by recording texts and sending to people. Do the same if that's who you are. If that's not who you are writing, fine, do it. But listen, document. The reason is simple. You need this evidence. Over time, you'll be able to appreciate this. But what are we saying that he said he would do a new thing? And we said yesterday to do what? Pray about these new things. Know about them. Write them down. If you write them down, you pray them back to him, then you are expecting to see results. Amen? Here at Build for Global Impact, we want to build. We are building. That's why you hear all these little tips that could just... They are so little, but if you put them in practice, you see how huge, how the result that the results that will come from them will be so huge that you'll be like, oh my God, just this little thing has changed my whole destiny. So write it down, pray about it, expect them to come to pass. Amen. Because he said, I do new things. When you write your new things down, pray them and begin to walk by faith. Guess what? Ask for more. That's what life is about. With daddy, there is nothing like I prayed yesterday. I will never pray again. He spoke to me yesterday. I don't think he will speak again because I already heard what he's doing. Listen, he's always doing new things. I didn't say he's creating. No, he's doing. Creation ended. But the doings of God are forever. The miracles, the signs and wonders of God, they are forever. What is the difference? What makes it forever it's our participation god can be doing like he said in in this month I'm, i do new things 
when you don't believe and participate, it will look to you like God is not doing new things. But that's not true because it is your participation in praying, in asking him and following up your action with actions as you pray that you will conclude for sure that God did new things and that God is doing new things. Amen. So don't stop at expectations. Ask him. Know what he's saying. Pray it back to him and persist in your place of asking and prayers. Above all, when you have prayed, ask him what is the next thing to do. I tell people prayer is never the end of it. If you're praying for a monetary breakthrough, so money. If you're praying for relationship breakthrough, so into somebody's relationship. Whatever kind of seed you sow, that you will reap. Amen. You're a married woman or single you want to marry Look for a challenged married couple and pray for them. Sow seed after your harvest. Amen. The kind of harvest you want, sow seed that are in line with that harvest. Glory to God. That's how you get to see the new thing that he's promised you. If the promise was, I want to um, pay your, your school fees or um, pay your tuition or clear your student loan. Then ask him, what is my seed? You could say, okay, next Sunday when you go to church, give so so and so amount. Put it on the envelope, my seat for this. Um, student loan paid off. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Let me say like Mary moms, uh, Jesus' mom Mary. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Amen. And that's how you experience the new. Amen and amen.